Hey there, my friend. Week 11 of the NFL is shaping up to be nothing short of incredible, don't you think? Just picture it. Thursday night football kicks off with a battle for the NFC East crown between the Commanders and the Eagles. Then, on Sunday, it's a dream for fans of AFC showdowns. Steelers vs. Ravens promises a gritty fight, and later, the epic quarterback rivalry between Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen is back for another chapter. But wait, that's not all. The Sunday night football stage will belong to Joe Burrow and the Bengals taking on Justin Herbert's Chargers, a clash of future Hall of Fame talents. And to close out the week? Drumroll, please. It's the 3-6 Dallas Cowboys facing the 6-4 Houston Texans on Monday Night Football. Now, I gotta ask, does that final game hit differently for you too? It's hard not to notice the contrast between the Cowboys-Texans matchup and the intensity of the rest of the week. How do we, as Cowboys fans, feel about our beloved team being the closing act of a week filled with power-packed games? Before we dive deeper into this, take a second and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a Cowboys update. Every subscription helps us grow closer to our goal of 12,000 subscribers. Your support means the world. Now, back to the Cowboys. I've been wondering if the NFL might be signaling something here, and I'm sure you have too. Are we in danger of losing our precious primetime slots? Let me know in the comments. Do you think the Cowboys deserve to stay in the spotlight with how things are going this season? So, let's take a step back for a moment. Why are those primetime games so crucial to a team's identity? Well, in the NFL, being in the spotlight means more than just exposure, it's a symbol of prestige, of relevance. Teams that consistently get primetime games are seen as elite, as top contenders. But here's the thing, when you look at the Dallas Cowboys' current situation, it doesn't feel like we're in the same conversation as the powerhouse teams anymore. 3-6, that's the painful record we're staring at, with a quarterback situation that's far from ideal. Cooper Rush is leading the charge, but let's face it, he's no Dak Prescott. And it's not like Trey Lance has been lighting up the field either. This situation leaves us wondering, can the Cowboys still claim that America's team status, or are we slipping into irrelevance? I get it. It's tough, but sometimes you have to call it like you see it. The Cowboys, with all their history and tradition, don't look like the team we've come to expect on Sunday nights. Sure, they have the fan base, and they'll always bring in high ratings. But can a franchise live off past glory forever? At some point, the present needs to match the reputation, and right now, it feels like we're hanging on by a thread. Now, I want to hear from you. How do you feel about the Cowboys' current state? Is the team's reputation slipping away, or are you still holding out hope for a turnaround? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get a conversation going. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We appreciate each and every one of you for helping us grow closer to our goal of 12,000 subscribers. Alright, let's talk about this upcoming Monday night football game against the Houston Texans. I mean, why hasn't it been flexed out of primetime? If we're being real here, this matchup doesn't exactly scream must-watch TV, does it? But there's a reason this game is still on the schedule, and it has a lot to do with NFL rules. Here's the deal, Monday night games can only be flexed starting in week 12, and even then, the decision has to be made at least 12 days in advance. When the NFL was locking in this week's primetime slate, Dak Prescott's future with the team wasn't so uncertain. The Cowboys basically got lucky, saved by the calendar. But let's be honest, if this game were scheduled just a week or two later, it's hard to imagine it wouldn't be flexed. Now, I know what you're thinking, why does this matter so much? Well, primetime games are where legends are made. They're the games every fan tunes into, even if their team isn't playing. And when the Cowboys show up on Monday night with a 3-6 record, led by a backup quarterback, it risks tarnishing the brand we've spent decades building. The real question is, how much longer will the NFL keep us in these coveted slots if things don't turn around? 
The league has already shown it's willing to flex out underperforming teams. Just look at how Colts vs. Jets got bumped from Sunday Night Football this week. So, why not us? But hey, I want to know what you think. Should the NFL allow even more flexibility with primetime scheduling, or do you think the Cowboys deserve to stay in these slots regardless of performance? Share your opinion in the comments, and while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button. And by the way, if you're enjoying this conversation, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. We're getting closer to our goal of 12,000 subscribers, and every bit of your support keeps this community growing. Now, let's dive into what might come next for the Cowboys in the spotlight. Now let's look ahead, because here's where things get even more concerning. After this Monday night football game, the Cowboys still have two more primetime slots left on the schedule. But if we're being realistic, how secure are those spots? Take week 14, for example. The Cowboys are set to play the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday Night Football. On paper, that sounds like a big game, divisional rivals, a classic NFC East battle. But here's the catch, the Eagles are playoff contenders, while the Cowboys? Well, they're hanging on by a thread. Could the NFL decide that a matchup with actual playoff implications, like Seahawks vs. Cardinals, deserves the spotlight instead? And what about Week 16? The Cowboys are supposed to face the Detroit Lions in another primetime game. But again, if Dallas doesn't turn things around fast, it wouldn't be surprising to see a more compelling matchup like Broncos vs. Chargers or Vikings vs. Seahawks take that spot. Now, let's be clear, the Cowboys are still a ratings powerhouse. But at some point, even the league has to wonder if putting a struggling team on national TV is worth the backlash. And as much as it pains me to say this, losing those primetime slots could be a reality if the team doesn't step up. Here's where you come in. What do you think? Should the Cowboys still get those big TV moments, or is it time for other teams to shine? Let's do a quick poll in the comments. Would you rather watch Cowboys vs. Lions in Week 16, or one of the other matchups I mentioned? Let us know, and if you're feeling bold, tell us why. Also, if you haven't joined our community yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support helps us grow, and it's the best way to make sure you're always up to date with everything Dallas Cowboys. So, what does all this mean for the future of America's team in primetime? Let's wrap this up by talking about Jerry Jones and what he might do to protect the Cowboys' legacy. Alright, let's get real for a second. If there's one person who hates the idea of the Cowboys losing their primetime status, it's Jerry Jones. Love him or hate him, you have to admit that Jones has a knack for keeping the Cowboys in the spotlight. His influence in the NFL is massive, and he's been known to pull strings behind the scenes to protect the team's brand. But even Jerry can't control everything. If the Cowboys keep struggling, it's hard to imagine the NFL ignoring that forever. And honestly? Maybe it's time for a wake-up call. Maybe losing a primetime game or two would light a fire under this team and push them to perform better. The big question is, what does the future look like for the Cowboys? Will they bounce back and reclaim their rightful place as America's team, or are we witnessing the beginning of a decline in their national relevance? Now it's your turn. What do you think Jerry Jones should do to turn things around? Let us know in the comments. And before you go, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Your support keeps us going, and we're so close to hitting 12,000 subscribers, help us get there.